to go. Leo! Strap yourself in and hold on tight. Tonight, one of your favourites will go. Let's do it. Let the claws come out. I can beat anyone on the given day. Yes, I can win Big Brother 2014. This is the beginning of the end. Game on. Who will face Lena, Travis and Penny in the final week? $200,000 at stake. You decide. It's eviction night and four of the most powerful players in the game are going head to head. David, Priya, Ryan and Sky. They've all been saved many, many times. But to win a place in finale week, they need to survive tonight. Time to vote is running out and I can tell you there's absolutely nothing in it. Just a handful of votes separate the bottom two and the result is far from certain so go to nine jump in for details of how you can decide the outcome. To say Priya call 1902 or SMS Priya to 199 To say Ryan call 1902 or SMS Ryan to 199 to save Sky, call 1902 or SMS Sky to 199 To save David, call 1902 or SMS David to 199 Or vote on Facebook. That's how you do it. Now, prior to his departure last night, Leo and Sky's relationship had been a little bit rocky. So how did she react when her former beau was the one to leave? It's time to go, Leo! Man, it's been a, been a pleasure meeting you, man. Yep, pleasure meeting you. Baby chickens. Baby chickens. <laughs> baby chickens. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, bra. Leo saves his final hug for Sky. Good luck, everybody. My darling, good luck. Thank you. See ya. And then heads for the exit, whispering something to David on his way out. <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> take this! Hey, one last time. What was that? Take the crown. Nah, I'm all right with the crown. Thanks a lot, guys. I love everyone of you. Have fun. Crazy. You're okay? No, I'm fine. We'll see him soon. Nine days. Nine days. Nine days. That's oh, it. So it is Wednesday. His departure leaves seven remaining in the house. Let's raise a glass for Leo. And Dave, you can make a toast and tell us what he told you as he whispered in your ear yeah, Dave, on your way out. Oh, I'll get him. You're a gentleman. You won't tell. Toast to Leo. Yes. Sometimes you take things to the grave. Sometimes you tell your mates. <laughs> and Leo was a good bloke. He, um... He was a man of many personas at times and looking forward to having one of these with him on the outside. Hooray, so. gentlemen. Hooray. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers to guys. everyone. Oh, yeah. To so the top seven. Top. Lucky number seven. Yeah. It's really small. Let's circle up and Fantastic. cherish and send off Leo the right way, eh? Hey, you want to start, Scott? Wow. Your boyfriend? Oh, my God, this is so tiny. A few um, words about your BF. Um, seven. Awesome dude! Oh, no, <laughs> I'm stoked to still be here. Um, yeah, I can't wait to party with him. Be very simple. Yeah, Ooh, yeah. That, that's queer. I had a lot of time for the guy. He's um, he grew on me more and more as the time went on. You know, there's a little bit in there that you know that, that spiritual stuff and all that fluffy stuff for me. Is, it's not me, but I still respect him for that. And uh, yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing him on the outside. He's a good guy. Um, yeah, I'm just wrapped that I'm now the tallest housemate behind Lena. <laughs> What's that, mate? I'm now, I'm now the tallest this housemate so behind nice. Lena. <laughs> Hands uh, in for Leo. Hell dog. One, two, three, Leo! 
With the finale in sight, the remaining housemates are looking for any sign from the outside that might point to their chances of winning or being evicted. A bit upset you didn't get a chat to. Travis points out that Sonia didn't talk to Priya last night. I don't think she speaks with all the nominees every time. No, she doesn't. Travis. There was a time when you and I were nominated, she didn't talk We'd to like you. We'd like some positive vibes flying around <laughs> right now. No, she usually, she's talked to me every time. No, not all. <laughs> Look, bro, I'm just saying the fact. What is I wrong with you? <laughs> OK, in the top four week, when she announced oh, the top four, know. she didn't speak with you. <laughs> That's my stack side. So. Stack side. Stop stirring, Travi. I've got a good memory. So how do you feel tomorrow, that you didn't get to chat to her? Nothing. <laughs> but thanks for rubbing it in, Mr. Positive. Yes, 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 big brother. Lena to the diary room. Come. Even a call for Lena to come to the diary room sets off speculation. What's happening out yeah. there? Surely we don't all have to go up. <laughs> no, this is... Um, this is something different, I reckon. Yeah. Do you reckon? Well, it's never happened. No one's ever been called to the diary room straight after. Yeah. Yeah. Ever. Yeah, they have. No, yeah. Not, no, not, 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 not Lena. Can we like, all just relax? Or Lena was pretty, pretty close to Leo. Oh, was she? Mm -hmm. Oh, I slept in the same bed. Pretty much. Yeah. What was that all about? No, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I were her boyfriend, I'd be like, oh, if I would, oh, I'd get my head chopped off. <laughs> Just like true, like what? <laughs> so really, Lena, another night, another eviction. I know. It's weird. I'm starting to get used to them. It's a bit unsettling, I guess. Starting to get used to them as a spectator, at least. Yeah, that's exactly right. You know, it's very strange. Like, <clears throat> I feel like the first few evictions that I went through we were very emotional because for me it was still such a new experience and you're losing people that you're just starting to form a connection with. Um, but now as each one goes on, you learn to get used to a little bit and grow a thicker skin. It must have been very poignant to see Leo walk out the doors. But of course, at the same time, it meant you survived eviction. Yes. Look, I'm grateful for every eviction that I survive and that happiness and that joy of me surviving is all, always, all, always much stronger than the feeling of loss and grief that I have for the person leaving. Um, <laughs> okay, so do you know what, what, do you want to know what happened? Okay. So it takes it. I wonder what is anyone up there? Yeah, he was like, I wonder what Lena's doing upstairs. I was like, I know. Priya is reporting to Lena what the others said about her while she was in the diary room. So Ryan goes, No, why would they call Lena? I was like, Lena was pretty close to me, right? And Ryan said, Yeah, obviously she slept in the same bed as him. What was that about? And then laughed and said, I'm joking. You know how he sometimes jokes? Yeah, but he always says that to diffuse the situation. Listen to this. And then Sky said, um, I wonder what her boyfriend will think. And Penny said, My boyfriend would have chopped my head off. He already did when I said I want to come I'll come, I'll come for this show. And that was the end of the conflict. No one else said anything. Please. We're all adults here, you know, like, yeah. you know, I know. Like, we're all yeah. adults here. Yeah, yeah. I just wanted to hear everyone's point of view. Yeah, that's interesting. Um, especially Penny's. I thought it was very interesting. She's my best friend, though. Of course. And, like, so true, like, mm. to, like, not double standards. Mm -hmm. Note to self, don't tell Priya anything. Although her report was very accurate. Now, you have just minutes left to vote, and you need to do that if you want to see your favourite in the finale week who will be sent home tonight. It's an eviction. We're going to find out when Big Brother returns. I'm really proud. I feel a massive sense of achievement.
I'm just so thankful and so grateful. I believe in myself so much more than what I did day one coming in here. To make it this far and then get thrown out, yeah, I'd be shuttered. But now we're getting closer. I think everyone's got a great shot of winning. The game's taken so many twists and turns that you never really know um, what kind of shot you're in for. I never once saw myself being here this long. Just feels unbelievable to have this once in a lifetime opportunity. I would not change it for the world. So when I first entered the house, I didn't think I was even going to last seven days. This week, I believe, is the most important week for me. I would hate to go home at this point in time. Welcome back to Big Brother, where you have the power. Go to Nine, jump in to find out how to use it. Now, David, Priya, Ryan and Skye have been there for such a long time, it's hard to imagine the house without them. But think about it. David, Ryan and Skye set fires and then Priya stokes them. So without those housemates, this would never have happened. What's up with you? Nothing. She's brewing. On it. Lena's upset that her innocent visit to the diary room earlier set off whispering about her having been too close to Leo when she has a boyfriend. It won't be said to my face. Then I won't worry about it. But I will worry about it. Why? Because I've got one week left. Mm. I've sat here, I've listened to everybody's stories, I've listened to the boring shit that's come out of every single person. Right Thank you. Every single person's mouth. I've been mm. listening to people fighting. I've been listening to people carrying a lot of that shit that I don't mm. care about, mm. right? I have done nothing mm. but be a nice person to people. Mm. Now, if they've got absolutely nothing more or less to talk about, then, oh, she's in a long time in the diary room. Oh, how was she friends with, with Leo? Oh, they shared a bed. What would her boyfriend think about it? Mm. Mate, we're all freaking adults here. But mm. you don't sit there and say, and say something like that at the expense of somebody else and then turn around. To me, and pretend that you're the interested. fact that Penny had called me out on the fact that she has a boyfriend on the outside, I should not say this to her, not even ask her, do you think the pup, when she's clearly flirting, and then point that out to someone for someone else who has a partner on the outside and honestly who hasn't even done anything to, for that to be said about. To me, that is double standards right there. Absolutely. Hi guys, if you're seeing this message, I have been evicted. It's over. Um, my two housemates that I had the most special connection with and meant the most to me, the first one obviously is gonna be Sky. We had a lot of ups and downs and we had a lot of really high moments and a few really low moments, but my big brother experience is related directly to you. You made it what it is for me. Things got a little bit wonky for us in the end, but I'll never regret the time we did have together or wish that we could change it anyway. Um, the second one, whether you believe it or not, uh, in the house is going to be Dave. Dave, I think you're an incredible unique. There's so many elements of your personality that don't match up. How could a guy be a radiographer and be such a meat and potatoes normal guy but still know the lyrics to circa 90s, 90s hip hop songs and you know your Air Jordans and all these little quirks and flashes of your personality that made you really unique. I needed that in the game. I needed someone who was normal but different and in interesting and engaging. Penny, um, I think you're unique and special in your own way. I don't, you know, when I first met you, I thought you were really annoying, but you came around and grew on me and I absolutely adore you. Lena, you know, you bring out the geek in all of us. I love that nerdiness about you and how easy it was for me to talk to you. Priya, you know, you're warm, sensitive. You were who you were. You stood by that and you continue to stand by that. Travi, just that energy and that positivity and that lust for life. Ryan, you know, just cool as a cucumber man, like real laid back guy, total ledge. I think the person or persons causing the most disharmony in the house right now are Priya and Dave. I think your little bickering and your little back and forth is getting tiresome. I think the other housemates are over it. Um, one habit of a housemate that I won't with, miss is Sky, constantly poking and prodding and popping pimples and scratching at things on me and the other housemates. Sometimes you stand around the pool and you look at everybody and we look like wild animals or gorillas trying to pick 
bug and ticks out of our fur. Out of the remaining housemates, I think the first to go will be Priya, then Dave, and it's going to be Ryan, Travi, and Sky finishing, and I think Travi's going to pull this one out. I think he's got the chops for it. He's been the same person from the beginning to the end. He, um, people love him. He's genuine. You're genuine. You've always been the same guy. You, you wear your faults on your sleeve. You let people see the real you. You've always tried to enjoy the experience and have as much fun of it as you can. And um, out of all the people in the house, I think that you've got the best chance of taking it, and I think you deserve it, mate. Well, goodbye, everybody. I love you all. Enjoy the last few days. I'm sorry I couldn't have stayed there with you, and I'll see you soon. And well That was amazing. One of the best ones, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, I want to pick your brain more. What about seeing the way Sky reacted to the fact that the that, that she was closest to at that point? No, 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 not closest. No, that's wrong. Wrong. But a few hours before nomination, she whispered in my ear. Um, she whispered, "I want Leah to go." She wants Leah. And I asked her, I said, what makes you feel that way? Later on, she said, He's, I'm just finding him annoying. They had gotten to that point. I wasn't surprised that she said that. They had gotten to that point, Lena, where from his side, probably the feeling was there. She just wanted it to be done and over a bit by now. I know, but it's still like, if somebody is showing you a level of respect, you should at least give them the courtesy to show it back. Mm. Sky didn't look sad at all. No. Yeah. Not at all. Uh, Sky. So it what? was J it was Jake, and then he left, and then you hit up um, Leo. Who's next? Is it me or Dave? <laughs> like Dave. -o. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Nice little joke. Oh, Sky. It wasn't a joke. Why? What are we gonna, are we gonna do? With Am you? I a bad person? Who said that? You got a big mouth. I reckon you'd be a pretty average kisser. I'm an amazing kisser. I thought you were pretty good. I think you did it right, Sky. I to what teach she? every boyfriend I've had how to kiss properly. Yeah. What do you, what's a proper kiss? Like, not like... I remember when the... Like, you got to kiss, it like, was, it was, it was slowly, and then slowly. get into opening your mouth slowly. slowly. Yeah. mouth might be open but voting lines are about to close you've got one minute left to vote now how can you possibly compare four of the most popular housemates of 2014 well you guys have already done it by voting to save them so who do you love we're going to find out when we save one of them next hit 9jumpin.com.au forward slash big brother we're live while the show's on air so chat share and get clicking Live eviction where voting lines are now closed, votes are being verified and we are minutes away from saving one of tonight's big name nominees. Will it be one of the cool kids getting kicked out? Who are the cool kids? Well, Lena thinks she knows. Um, that was a good kid. It's whenever I see the cool kids, it goes, who makes them think they're cool? The cool kids, according to Lena and Priya, are Ryan, Skye and David. Unless they are quantifiably mm. cooler than me, yeah. right? Yeah. If, for example, like, there was a way mm. to quantify that. Okay, so then if we had a race, yeah. we were running and yeah. they beat me. Yeah. Okay, mm. right? Mm. There is nothing here to say that they are cooler exactly. than me. Exactly. Only they think that, and that's a self And then there are people who make them think that too. Yeah. Sky makes Ryan think that he's super cool. Sky has said to me that when Ryan and Dave are good to me, I feel yeah, special. Right. That's a big statement no. there. Me? I don't care. I don't care either. I don't care. In fact, I would rather not suck up to the people yep. that everyone else sucks yep. up to. Absolutely. The boy I was just going up to the diary room. The three boys have been summoned to the diary room to be offered some male time out. Just the three boy ups, the three musketeers. Oh, boys, I'm gonna break it with you. Would like you just to be the final three. What are your thoughts? <laughs> yeah, imagine that. I feel like we're in a boy band, big brother. Yeah. Well, Big Brother knows you're a tight unit, and you have to be now. You're the last remaining man in the house. So, what better way to share the evening? And what could be the final evening in the Big Brother house 
for you, Ryan, or you, David. With some quality man bonding time together in the parlour. Yeah. Oh. The parlour set. Couple of frothies, big brother, and they'll go down a tree. Ryan's <laughs> instantly started flirting with me more since Leo's left. I'm glad to hear this. <laughs> Neither of these things are news to me, but yeah. Have you noticed? Yep. Yeah. Like, is it so obvious? You've got attitude. Yep, so much attitude. Don't you stand your Puerto Rican shirt? Shut up, you're not even funny. <laughs> Malfoy. You're ugly. <laughs> oh, you're even uglier. You're ugly. You're more ugly. You're uglier. Okay, okay. Joking. That's what I just said. Joking, I think you're beautiful, Sky. I, I said that today in the diary room, actually. Beautiful. Do you know I said that? I think you're beautiful, and he goes, I even said that to Big Brother today. Yeah, 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 that. That, what, I even said that to Big Brother today. That's what made me think, hmm, okay. The fact that he was telling you, and he really wanted to make you believe that what he was saying was right. By saying, whenever someone says, you know, if I say, oh, by the way, um, <laughs> I think you're such an amazing girl, Sky. You have made my time in the house beautiful. I even said that to Big Brother today. It's, it's like saying, trust me, I said it. And did you hear what he said in the lounge room? He's like, so, Sky, when, when Jake left, you hooked up with Leo. So who's next in line, me or Dave? That's pretty much a dig, too, though. It's rude, but I don't know what he means by it. I think, I think his way of flirting is mm. like being mean to a girl. It's like in primary school. Uh, and little boys are mean to girls and throw dirt on them, them just because because they don't know how to flirt properly. I really like it though. Nothing like three men in a parlour. Yeah. Cheers, boys. Walking into this game with Travi, I would have liked to have think that you and I had to stay this far through the game. We have. Davo, our relationships definitely um, gotten better and better every week. Here we are, congratulations. Yeah, yeah. How good it would have been if they said, okay, tonight's eviction is over and starting tomorrow, everyone is up. Mm. I want my to go. I want Penny to go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm not digging the interest. So that the house has more, more breathing space. I would like you, me, Trav and Ryan in the finals. I would not mind that. Can we pass up something behind it? Whatever it is. Are you looking at face marks to the board? Is that, what have we got in here? Or? Natural purifying elements and gently yet thoroughly cleanse the skin while it's going on. Here we go, you want to get a big spot out in the scrub, this is what you want. Thank You gotta love a girls' night in, don't you? Now, whether they admit it or not, every nominee is playing a strategy game. Sky plays the innocent. Ryan couldn't be more under the radar if he tried. David and Priya are shameless in their game playing. So whose strategy has worked well enough to save them? We're about to find out, but we wanna freak the housemates out a little bit tonight, and I need you to help me, so Every time we cross to the house, they listen for your cheers, and this close to the end, they'll do anything to figure out how popular they are. So tonight, I want you all to stay absolutely silent. Can you do that for me? Yeah. All right. And just so you guys know, we're saving them in no particular order tonight, but we're not telling them that. So let's let the mind games begin. Here we go. Hey, hi, housemates. Hello. Hello, Dave. Hey, Sonia. How are you doing? Yeah, real well, thank you. Good. You've come a long way, haven't you, since your brush with eviction early on? Yeah, 18 points. I uh, still remember it. And even earlier than that, I was up again. So I'm an old hand at this, Sonia. So the nerves are ice cool tonight. Ice cool, Dave. Yeah. Why should you stay tonight? Uh, because uh, I believe I'm the realest person in this game and uh, that's what Australia <coughs> deserves. Uh, you know, they're the fans, they're the ones, I'd be the person that would be, um, you know, representing Australia in that way. So from, it's not just me winning, it would be all of Australia. Gotcha. Mm. <laughs> there we go. Sky! Hey, hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
Hi. Now, I'm sure you're desperate to leave the house and go and reunite with Leo. No, I want to stay. I'll see him soon enough. OK, so you could wait a little bit longer to see I can see wait, him. I can wait, yes. Right. How, was, how was your day in the house without him, though? Um, it was very quiet, but it's always different when someone leaves. Yeah, all just right. Just warming up to it, I guess. Yeah, gotcha. Priya, hi. 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 <laughs> I didn't chat to you last night. I know. Everyone mentioned it yes, to me. Yes, I was going to say that caused a bit of conversation in the house, didn't it? It sure did. So what were they saying to you? That, oh my God, Priya, Sonia didn't talk to you and Leo. Wonder if that's a sign. And I was like, yeah, sure, rub it in. Yeah, Travis. <laughs> Travis. Hello, Sonia. Hello. First of all, where's the crowd at? The crowd? They're yeah. here. Oh, hello. Yeah, they're here. Very loud crowd. Yeah, I guess they're just taking it all in tonight. Yeah, true. Because it is the most important eviction of the year. It is, Sonia, it is. I'm nervous for everyone sitting on the couch. Yeah, but, uh, me too. One of them has to go. They do. <laughs> Australia has voted. And one nominee who oh, has what, received enough to votes <laughs> to save them. Don't get paranoid, Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> and will go through to the finale week of Big Brother 2014 is... Oh, so she's saying something. Yeah. yeah. Ryan! Oh, I will be back very soon. Well, Ryan has officially booked a place in the finale week. By the way, you guys were amazing. Who will be next? We're saving another one right after this. Brothers Live Eviction Night and we're about to see how David will use any excuse to talk house politics, even doing the laundry. How do you feel about this week coming up? Um, I'm not, I'm in a position where I just take it now day by day because you never know. So, yeah, it's a bit hard to... Um, the dynamics of this house right now can change in the space of a day. You know, the stupidest little things can change the dynamics of this house. Like someone, me and Priya, we're never gonna, we're never gonna agree, we're never gonna, I'm never gonna have my opinion changed by Priya, she's never gonna have hers changed by my, my, by me. I reckon you two sit there and you, you guys are just, do you not get kicks out of arguing with her though, because it's like... No, not, oh, no, right, not now, it does my head in. Did it used to? No, I don't get kicks out of it, I certainly don't, it just pisses me off, I, I like, I don't get any kicks out of arguing with her at all. It actually, it's, for me, it's an absolute, absolute waste of my day. <laughs> like, I've been looking at it and it's like, you look at everyone else in this house, is we'll all jump in the pool, we'll all have a swim, oh, we'll all have, you know, a, a good spa, we can go to the gym, we can mm. do, we'll run around, we'll get the ball and we'll kick it or something like that. Priya doesn't do any of that. Like, she'll get in the pool here and there, but she certainly doesn't get in as much as anyone else. So I'm just like, maybe she's just trying to fill her day. To me, that's what I think. I'm starting to think now. She's just trying to fill her day with something. Thank you. This week, housemates must man shifts in Big Brother's Christmas factory, packing presents for the Starlight Children's Foundation. Oh, we're in the Christmas workshop with Travis and Sky. Sky and Travis have puzzles to piece together, and to pass the task, they must also keep the conversation flowing. How are you feeling about being in the finals, by the way, Biddy? Yeah, it's a good feeling, obviously. To me, I think the people who aren't up this week, it's just reflective that, you know, they haven't been going around behind people's back and... Yeah. ..causing dramas kind of thing. It's a, it's a weird feeling for me, cos I'm usually always up. It's like, now that I'm not, I'm like, I feel like I'm out of it. Mm. I don't feel like I'm in the game, you know what I mean? I want to know... OK, so you know how you said 
sorry to bring it back to this. You didn't find me attractive when you first saw me. Do you think any of your friends would? Or they don't like fake girls either? No, nah, definitely. Like, and don't kid yourself. I find you attractive now, and I found but you. That's weird because we're like brother and sister. No, but like, I can still say a girl's good Pretty, looking. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and yeah, the first day or second day, it was just like I seen you and I judged you as that. Um, stereotypical, prestigious girl, wears a lot of makeup, you know, oh. likes attention. So yeah. I'm just like, I, I'm, I don't find that attractive. Yeah, and you but know do what you think that I'm attention seeking? No, nah, not at all. Okay. So, you know, when you, so you said that I, you thought I was more attractive than Isa. Yeah, but now I find him very attractive. You've gone boy crazy. Do you think? <laughs> And you've turned into me because I'm usually... Me and, you, and me and you out at a bar, a nightclub, you're going to be like, we're going to just be sipping on beers. No, like, I won't. You're going to be like, trap. <laughs> that guy over there is hot, man. Hey, that guy over there is hot. Like, you might go talk to him. Well, and, then, and then you're going to go up there and you'll be like, hi. No, but, Trav, I'm allowed to. I'm young. I'm 20, you know? <laughs> Come on. Yeah, 100%. I've always been the relationship girl, you know? I reckon, yeah, spread your wings, enjoy yourself a little bit. Why don't you just have a bit of fun? Go out there and kiss Rise up. Go out there and just be like, I've had enough of this. You treat me so bad. <laughs> there. Big Brother is satisfied with Travis and Skye's work on the jigsaw puzzles and has decided to give them a present of their own. Oh, my God. After Lena's conversation with David in the laundry, Lena is reporting his thoughts to Priya. Um, you know, he's saying, like, me, you and um, Sky aren't really the types of chicks that he would have in his friendship group. Mm. And I'm like, oh, well, that's funny, because I was saying that I have a friend like him on the outside, very similar, mm. right? But he doesn't have a misunderstanding of who I am. He knows me very well, and we get along. Mm. He's honestly very, yeah. very, very similar. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and he was saying that you had said the same thing. Yeah. Like that you could see him in your social circle or yeah. I don't know, whatever that conversation Yeah, mutual is. friendship circle. I think he's very closed-minded. I've met people like him before. What does he think he is? Mm. Like a unicorn? From now on, David's name is Strategy Unicorn. So will it be Strategy Unicorn or one of the other nominees to be saved by Australia Next? They are desperate to book their place in the final week. So let's cross live and see who will get the good news. And just a reminder again, no cheering even when we save them. Can you do that? Beautiful. All right. Here we go. Hey, mate. Hi. Hello. 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 How's me? Yes. Okay. Hey. So three remain. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Ryan, you're safe. Yeah. How feels, does it feel? Yeah, it feels good. It feels really good here for the final week. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Did you expect it to be saved tonight? No, nah, not at all. I mean, everyone here has probably earned their spot to be here in the last couple of weeks. So, yeah, this one was probably the toughest one for sure. And Penny. Hi. Hi, Penny. <laughs> So do you feel like a tourist or do you think you have a chance to win? Oh, it's a little bit predictable that the newbies might leave first, but I, I have to believe that we have a chance, yeah. Well, you're in the finale week, aren't you? Yeah, it's pretty cool, hey? Yeah. Lena? Yeah, hey. Hey. Now, give it to me straight. Who's going home tonight? Ah, <laughs> uh, wow, toughy. <laughs> Um, look, I think the only way that I can really gauge by how tonight will pan out is by gut instinct, and I feel like Dave might be heading off tonight. Oh. We'll see, we'll see. You can't judge by the audience reaction? Not really, they're a bit quiet tonight. What's going on? I don't know, they are a bit quiet. It's What's happening? happening? We're going to save another nominee now. Oh. Oh. Australia has voted, and one nominee who has received enough votes to save them and will be here for the final week of Big Brother 2014 is... Sky! Oh! 
Congratulations, Sky. Thank you. See you. All right. Next time we meet, it'll be eviction time. Oh. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Is even Priya? Oh, oh, I didn't see this coming, Priya. <laughs> oh, you know we do. Good luck. <laughs> we saw this coming. Oh, oh. Well we hug again. Oh. Oh. Stay okay. ahead. Oh. Right. Hold on. Scarcy. Oh. Congrats. Oh. I'm sorry. I had to say okay. something. <laughs> I think we should sit in the middle. <laughs> oh, oh. I actually can feel my heartbeat. It's crazy. Well done, you guys. That completely weirded them out. And now the stakes get even higher. It's 50-50 between David and Priya. Whose dream of Big Brother glory will survive tonight and who will be sent home just days away from the finale? Welcome back to Big Brother's live eviction night. Let's take a sleigh ride back to the house where Big Brother's surprise for the housemates will have them thinking all their Christmases have come at once. Um, how's that? Is that all right? Do you reckon that bite is pretty bad? No, it's epic. Ryan and David are wrapping up their shift in the Christmas factory, and Big Brother is feeling generous. You're mm. kidding me. Third is it? <laughs> He's passing on early Christmas presents from family outside. Oh, I don't think it's a footy, though. I think it's a rugby I know exactly ball. Yeah. what that is, and that's chocolate. With everyone gathered in the living room, Sky and Travis are first to read out their letter from home. Okay. Oh my god. Sky's news is about her sister. Kayla had her first kiss and she also got a job. Oh my god! <laughs> Travis's message is from his older brother. I'd love to tell you the footy scores, but I can't. Dot dot dot. Ha ha. All I'll say is it was massive. <laughs> There's even an update from his beloved pet dog. Nippa is still alive and yeah, kicking. Nippa. <laughs> can't bark, can't eat, can't die. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, cool ball. This is sick. That's oh. Thanks, Dad. Ryan's message is from his dad. Everyone is fine, including mum, who continues to totally ignore her fatigue and her illness um, and rallies at every opportunity to be part of the BB experience. Stay true to yourself and remember to look up, look at the stars and feel all of our love. All our love to the moon and back, mum and dad, aka okay, oh, Josie and Desi. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's a burger. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. David has a message from his sister. Um, all relatives and friends overseas are loving you being yourself on the show and a lot of your female cousins who have not seen you in years think you are hot. Stay cool, man. <laughs> Even your cousins think you're hot. Don't get excited, they are your cousins. <laughs> We high five. Does that look like I'm flirting with you? Huh? I high five. Does that look like we're flirting together? Yeah, nah. If if Priya was here, it would. While David and Penny keep themselves busy with backyard games, Priya keeps herself busy with mm. gossip. But in terms of who's the strongest competitor for me as a girl, it's Sky. Yep. And who's the strongest competitor to me as a boy right now? It's Dave. Oh. But uh, it would be absolutely lovely to beat Dave. I wouldn't mind seeing him in the top two with myself. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Sorry. Like for me, if you think about it, my realistic competition mm. is Penny. Mm. That's it. Like realistic, that's it. Yeah. 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 That's all I can say. Yeah. Oh, what? Just tell me when you're ready. Here you go. Come back. Yes. Oh, you got a hat trick! You 
can't let him hit this yellow thing. Otherwise, I'm out. Yeah, no, well, he's got a hat trick, and I don't want him to have a hat trick. You know what I think my problem is in this kind of game? Yeah. Is that I... Say, for example, I'm aware of that. Yeah. But for me, I wouldn't go out to try and draw the badness mm. out mm. of her to mm. make... Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah. I feel like in yeah. doing that, it's not in my nature. Yeah, yeah. And, and by doing that, if there is nothing to pick on, and you still pick on, that's yes. a reflection on you. But yeah. in saying that, if there is something to pick on and you still don't, then that is also a reflection on your nature. Yeah. Saying, which will show that you don't really care. Yeah. What's on? I accidentally hit the ball over out. It's right out, it's gone. Whoops. Yeah, and they sent me up to ask for a tennis ball, a footy. Cricket bat or just the ball that went over? You can pass on a message to David and Travis from yeah. Big Brother. What would you like me to say? How'd you go? Big Brother said I can pass on a message to you and David. What did you say? Nice try. <laughs> it's all coming to an end. But it's been a good journey. Would you rather make it to the final two but be beaten by David or leave the house tomorrow night? I hate that hypothetical big brother. <laughs> oh, well, honestly, if I leave tomorrow, that is still me being beaten by David, right? So I'd rather be beaten by David a lot later in the game. Is that your greatest fear, Priya, that tomorrow night... You might hear your name called by Sonia. That is my greatest fear at this moment in time, yes. And people have been trying to instill that in me as well. I've been so very me in the entire game. And I have been me. I have been very un unapologetically Priya. Will Priya's greatest fear be realised? Tonight is a nail biter and I couldn't think of two more closely matched housemates. You could argue that both David and Priya deserve to win the whole thing. So, who will go? The eviction is next. fates could not be more different. One will go into the final week of Big Brother confident in having Australia's support. The other will be evicted, left to wonder what they might have done differently. So let's cross live and see which way it goes. And feel free to make some noise. And Priya, you both entered Big Brother on opening night. Mm -hmm. One of you will be there in the final week, the other will not. It's time to evict. Australia has voted. And one nominee received less votes to save than all the others. Which means... It's time to go. It's time to go. David!
Good luck, Dave. Thanks, Dave. Good luck, eh? What I'm proud. I've done two, too. And I'm sorry. Don't worry about it. No regrets, eh? Okay. All right. We'll catch up for sure. All's good. Enjoy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna miss you, bro. Thank Maybe. You. Thanks, bro. Good, bro. Only be a week, boys. Yeah, yeah. Leave some in here. the tank for when we get out. <laughs> we'll do. <laughs> oh yeah. Good to miss you, bro. See you soon, though. It's yes. been awesome, guys. I've had the best time with all of you. Like. Everything that's happened has happened for reasons and everything, so. Yeah. Boy, it's last Sad week. moment for Big Brother, man. Sad moment. It's the last week, guys. Enjoy every bit of it, eh? And, uh, yeah. Hope I'll see you soon. Good day! Oh, Gee, but that is a sad moment for Big Brother, isn't it? I agree. Anyone that went tonight, I reckon. Yeah, absolutely. Congratulations for... Sorry. Yeah, through. Congratulations, Thank Peter. Thank you. Tell you what, leaves me and you vulnerable to four girls. <laughs> we have to I'm a little bit scared. Lonely pink, right? This is Big Brother Live. Please welcome Strategy Unicorn and New Evictee, David! This is unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> Appreciate that, guys, I really do. That was amazing, such a walk-in. Talk us through your thoughts. Oh, I don't know, this is unbelievable. We'd never have expected this. Loving it. Everyone get on out. Yeah. I've never had this much control over people. <laughs> That's good, isn't it? Love it. I well paid done. them. You, you no, paid them? <laughs> I'm sure my mum had a part to do it as well. Now, yeah, Dave, after an auspicious visit from last year's winner, yeah. Tim, you took any opportunity to play strategically? Uh, mm -hmm. I, I did. I you did. did. I, I believed I played. I played. Love you too. <laughs> I believe I played myself. Yes. But when the opportunity arose, you have to play the game. So. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's take a look at why they call you. Strategy Dave. It's a bold move. It's kind of like a new chapter for David in the house. What bigger statement can you make? So there's a new player in town. Yeah. <laughs> After about three or four weeks, I started to see how I could play this game and work it to my favour. It's simple, but it's strategic. It just seems very shrewd, very crafty, very calculating. The last few days, I've been really thinking strategy. The only discussions I have with Dave uh, is strategy stuff, and it's, it's ugly. I do a lot more listening than I do talking. He's obviously a big player in the game. It's not who I see as a threat, it's who I see winning this game. I think he's an analytical thinker, and I think probably Dave's personality in real life, he is very strategic, he's a clever guy. That's fine, you can play safe. It's not play safe, it's called game. learning from your mistakes. He's not willing to admit that he has a strategy. I need the relationship between Kat and Lawson to flourish and to continue to. I need it to be in the public's mind. I know that's cruel, but it's we're all up and it's survival here. Big brother, strategy Dave comes prepared. That is 
going to stick with you no matter where you go. Now, yeah. you entered as a seemingly normal guy. You did come out as Strategy Dave. So nah. just take us through how that transformation happened. Uh, guys, if I was to tell you the honest truth about where Strategy Dave comes from, I'd be walked off this stage right now. Why? Uh, it's not PG, so it can't be said. OK. So. <laughs> um, but um, it's, it's entirely... Um, uh, Risey gave me the name. Yeah. Um, but for a reason, right? I'd, for a reason, but it's not the reason everyone's thinking. Oh. I'll tell you backstage, Sonia. Okay. <laughs> um, and then I'll tweet it. No, I'm <laughs> kidding, I'm kidding. But it is entirely, it was, um, they, I got christened with it, so I, I played up to it a bit. Okay. That's the truth. Well, we did see you trying to put Cat and Lawson yep. back together. And it seemed to work. And that was game playing yep. with a capital G, wasn't yep, it? That was. And I thought that could very much come back and come back to haunt me. Uh, the public might not have liked that, but at the same time, this being a game, I was always going to play it the way I had to. And for me, that was, I, I even said it to Travi afterwards. Uh, you may get the chance to make a massive decision. You might not like it, but you've got to have the guts to back yourself for it. Absolutely. What do you guys think? Yeah? You are sitting here, Dave. Yeah. And your part-time nemesis, Priya, yeah. is still in the house. Yeah. So what do you think you could have done differently to make that outcome? Uh, firstly, different? not part-time. She's full-time uh, full nemesis. Full-time nemesis, yeah. okay. But, um, oh, look, Priya's, Priya's a great player in the game, and I have the utmost respect for her. I have no ill feelings to her at all. Like, we are so alike. Yes, you are, And that is aren't why you? we clash heads constantly. So yeah. I have no ill feelings to her, and uh, I wish her all the best in the game. Thank you. <laughs> Can we talk about one of the most complex relationships that you formed in the house, which was with Sky? Yeah. Let's just have a look at that. Alrighty. I'd like to thank you for being probably hey, one of the first people who's come up to me tonight and talked to me. Lawson, Lawson. Oh, hey there. Okay. You are far more mature than I've ever thought, okay? You're a beautiful person. I can appreciate all the good in him, and there is good in David. Hi Sky, we're loving watching you on TV. Miss you so much. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, she's really bugging me at the moment. I kind of want to push Dave's buttons, but I don't really know now. I think he pushes buttons just being you. Because you're human dad jokes. If you don't want me to make fun of you, say it now and I won't make fun of you and therefore I'll probably have nothing to talk to you about. That's what it's going to be. I want him gone. Let's not beat around the bush right here. It said people you're most comfortable with, so Sky and I are going to be in opposite rooms, okay? He is a dead set sheep. He's a sheep. He's eating out of the palm of Ryan's hand. Would you describe your relationship with Sky? Uh, it would be for me like a, uh, a merry-go-round. We reach the good side and then we come around to the bad side uh -huh. and it just kept going around and around until all of a sudden it's really slowed up on the bad side and I was just done with it. Yeah. But in all honesty, the reason why is that I don't have someone like Sky in my circle of friends and I'm going to throw it out there that Sky doesn't have someone like me in her circle of friends. We're at different ends of the spectrum. I'm 31, she's 20. We're both immature, but, you know, I just saw it from her so much. I always said that I did see the real good in Sky, but it was 2% of the time in my, of my time in the house. Yep, yep. Um, honestly, the last four days in this house have been my best time in Sky, so we're at 90-10 now, so she's really climbing and again. So when you say you, you were 31 and she's 20, because, yep. I mean, you know, we all have friends of different yep, ages, yep. what was it specifically about her that bugged you? What was it specifically? It was just she had some really immature double standards. Uh, again, I've really got to watch what I say here, but... Why? You're uh, out of the house. Yeah, but... <laughs> you can no, say again, you like. A lot of what I might have to say might not be PG. Oh. So, um, <laughs> Sky, would, well, Sky was happy to call someone a name, um, and then the next thing, run off crying when someone called her a name. So, that just... You know, double standards like that grate me, so... Right. Yeah. You think as you get older, you get a thicker skin? You have a thicker skin, but, um, you know, also at 20 years old, I was, um, I was a lot more mature, so, you know, I always... You, you judge it against the people you know, and I know myself better than anyone, so... Well, Dave, you know, let's be honest. Yeah. You do have a tendency to sometimes 
put your foot in oh, your mouth. All the time, all the time, uh, yeah. So after the break, we are going to give Dave a chance to right some of the wrongs Ooh. that he was accused of. And Big Brother has a big Jesus. announcement. Oh. <laughs> He's from Chloe from Doncaster. From Doncaster. Hi, Chloe. Hi, Chloe. Hello. David, you are a cutie. All the girls at uni would love to see you with a goatee. <laughs> Thanks for the advice on the goatee. I'll take it on board. <laughs> Who's interested in a little mischievous fun? <laughs> Me and my girlfriends would love to see you with a goatee. <laughs> Not you again. <laughs> Housemates, pause. I can't believe this. You look, you look even cuter in person. You have to pull when you get out, okay? You just have to. It's been real. Welcome back to Big Brother Live, which also happens to be David's eviction night. David. Yeah. You suspected. It might be the case at times, but are you okay to discover that Chloe is not real? I'm just, I'm devoted. I am absolutely <laughs> devoted. I had a date set up at the Rose Hotel in Chippendale on next Wednesday. Oh, can I just give you some inside information then? So she is, she actually won a competition to oh. come and play the part of Chloe. Get out. Okay. But she really has got the hots for you. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. And uh, um, look, if Chloe doesn't, I think there's a few single ladies here who... There you go. Uh, there's a few too young there as well. So. <laughs> okay. All righty. Um, now, Dave, each week, members of the public are given a chance to ask you anything they like. They submit uh, their questions yep. through Nine Jump In. And tonight, the KFC Home Viewer question is from Jackie, and she says, <laughs> oh, if Penny didn't have a boyfriend, yep. would you call her when she gets out? Um... Firstly, is this Lawson hiding backstage or something? Or... <laughs> no, this is a Look, real question. Penny is from a real an absolutely viewer. amazing girl, and I had uh, an attraction to her uh, personality first because she is exactly like someone I would, you know, see on the outside. But quite opposite to you. Totally, very opposite, but that's not a bad thing is at that all. The, is that's... that that whole opposite that, that attract? Yeah, don't they ever? Yeah. yeah. So, um, listen, I'm gonna. Play... But then Sky's opposite you too. Yeah. And not so much of an, that more of a yeah. repelling. Yeah, that's a real good point there. So <laughs> you've stumped me. Uh, I, I'm going to play Diplomatic Dave and I'd say I'd definitely call her to catch up for a coffee, definitely call her to help out a little dance school or something like that. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. she might get a little bit of a robot or something like that. Oh, okay. but, um, You're planning on yeah, teaching yeah. some dancing? I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to fully answer that question. Okay, yes. all right. Well, Dave, most of the time you are famously honest. Yeah. Um, it got you into more than your fair share of trouble in the house. Yeah. But we're going to play a game to see if you've learned anything during your time. And it works like this. We're going to show you a clip of something regrettable that you've said. And there's <laughs> been a few. I know what it's going to be. And then you're going to tell us what you should have said, said instead, okay? All right, let's hear it. All right, let's have a look. Clip number one. I need to work out. Oh, You've seen my thighs. It's exercise, not a magic wand. Did you hear that? What? You've seen my thighs. So what you said, Dave, was it's exercise, not a magic wand. And what you should have said was... Uh, look, I can't take that one back because I say it to my best friend all the time. That is the honest truth. You pull Lisa up on this stage and I say it to her all the time. So that right there, that's me. What I should have said is, girl, you look fine. Don't worry about the exercise. Better, much better. All right. Okay, let's have a look at clip number two. Kat, I would actually have a friend that would date you. Yay. But would I date them? I don't, um, I don't have any mates that would date any of you. Kat, I would actually have a friend that would date you. So what Dave said was, I don't have any mates that would date any of yous. What you should have said was... Uh, wouldn't have any friends that would date any of you because <laughs> yous is not a word. Correct! <laughs> Yay! Alright, well, let's have a look at clip number three. Oh, Jesus. Because Lisa was there, but I would take Kat's breasts on top of Lisa's. Yeah. <laughs> I reckon Lisa's got sick rigs. Yeah. Oh, Lisa's are amazing. They're good, but they're, yeah. they're pretty low, aren't they? Oh, Lisa's are amazing. 
So what you said, Dave, was they're good, but they're pretty low, aren't they? And what you should have said was... Uh, Lisa. Nothing! Nothing, Dave! <laughs> no, nothing! That's, that's not David. That's not David. Have you guys learnt nothing? <laughs> <laughs> you know, Dave, you were so close to being evicted. I think in the, in the, in the second week, yep. it was like you were basically gone. Right. But you fought your way to becoming one of the most interesting housemates of 2014. Yeah. So we want you to have a look at some of our favourite David moments. Beautiful. Here's a look at your time in the house, thanks to KFC. <laughs> it's a beautiful house. And I feel really at home in this place. Please. You walk into that house and you just know that you are now part of something that so very few people are. Do you think that Davis is cute? I do think he's cute. Yeah. <laughs> there's big ships, there's small ships. <laughs> there's nothing like friendships. <laughs> Obviously, I'm at the centre of quite a few issues in here and I probably don't make life easy for myself. It's so much harder being in a couple. Like, if it was just me, I wouldn't be crying. No. Oh, I'm the reason you always end up in tears and it destroys me. Oh. Boom, Boom they, they, like, <laughs> Don't throw an insult in my face, OK? I'm often the guy that gets the jokes at his expense. I'm pretty thick-skinned, but at one point there, it got a little much for me. Dave's an easy guy to pick on. And there's always someone in the group that is that person. But I've learned that I need to respect myself and stand up for myself a lot more. You can always come back from a bad situation. He's got my back and that I could talk to him about anything. I'm just so thankful that I met someone like Dave in here. I think he's amazing. Thank you. Jeez! Everyone out there who watches it thinks they've got some idea. They've got no idea. It'll blow your mind. It's like nothing else you will ever experience. I've learned so much. I've grown so much as a person and I've loved every minute of it. Australia and KFC agree. Your experience has been so good. Oh, wow. And, Dave, as a reward for being such a legend in the house, appliancesonline.com.au is giving you a $5,000 voucher. Wow. Thank you. So, tell us who is going to win. Uh, uh, firstly, thanks to Online Appliances, but... It's got to go to my boy, Risey. I want all my mates to get behind Risey. Oh, well. He is the most genuine guy you'll ever meet. He's going places, that guy, and one of the most special people I've ever met and can't wait to drink beers with him on the outside. Well, you are special to us, Dave. Come up here. You're a trooper. Take a bow. Let's hear it for David. You're the best on you. You too. We are now officially in the final week of Big Brother 2014, so let's go live to the house where Big Brother has some big news for the final six. Yeah, he moved so much. This is Big Brother. Hey, you're taking piss. Priya, Sky, Ryan, Travis, Lena <laughs> and Penny. Congratulations. Thanks. You are the final six. Yay. Big Brother has some information that may <gasps> interest you. <gasps> Australia are no longer voting to save you. Oh, huge. As of right now, Big Brother is opening all of your voting lines and every vote cast is a vote to win. Massive. Wow. So it's the same as voting to, to save. The time has come for Australia to choose their champion. The time has come to decide the winner of Big Brother 2014. Massive. Massive. Good luck, housemates. 
that is all. Oh, wow. big Are we here for another eight days? For every vote is a vote to win and will count towards that housemate's final tally. On Tuesday night, we go from six housemates to three in a triple eviction. And Wednesday, we crown the champion of Big Brother in a massive grand finale. And here's how you choose the winner. For Lena to win, call 1902 or SMS Lena to 199 For Penny to win, call 1902 or SMS Penny to 199 For Priya to win, call 1902 or SMS Priya to 199 Or vote on Facebook. For Ryan to win, call 1902 or SMS Ryan to 199 for Sky to win, call 1902 or SMS Sky to 199 For Travis to win, call 1902 or SMS Travis to 199 Or vote on Facebook. The voting is officially open. Don't forget, tomorrow night, Big Brother is on go because... 30 because of the cricket. Don't miss the final six fighting tooth and nail for the title. We are back online on Thursday as the finale tensions mount. And Monday is a Secrets and Lies special where all the housemates' dirty laundry will be aired. Strap yourselves in. It will be a bumpy ride, Australia. I'm Sonia Cooper. I'll see you soon. Dream World, the home of Big Brother.